with the another video lecture that is the lecture number 4 and it is again on architecture of microprocessor 8085. And in that lecture, today we cover some topics. The first topic is about the review of lecture number 3. Second content of this lecture is information about the general purpose register. Third content is the use of accumulator and fourth content is the arithmetic and logical unit. So, this fourth content we are covered in that lecture. So, going to the review of lecture number 3. So, in previous lecture we study about reading operation, writing operation, operation performed by microprocessor with the memory that is writing operation and reading operation. And also we discuss about the structure of practical memory IC. So, these are about the review of our lecture number 3. Now, going to the today's lecture and in that lecture, we are now cover the another topic that is the general purpose register. So, going to the second content, this di block diagram of microprocessor 8085, in that block diagram, we have studied the only one part in previous few lectures. The first part we have covered that is the buses and we are discussing in that lectures that buses is nothing but the copper conducting strips which use for transferring the any information to the microprocessor. And we are classify that buses into the three category that is address bus, then data bus and control bus means from this complete block diagram we are covered only one part that is the buses. Now, in this lecture we are now discuss about the another block of this block diagram. That block is represented by the general purpose register and if you are observing that W, Z, B, C, D, E, H and L. So, now today we are study this block that is B, C, D, E, H and L. So, this block is represented as a general purpose register. So, going to that content that is the general purpose register, microprocessor having 6 8 bit general purpose registers and that registers are named by register B register C, register D, E, H and L. So, these 6 general purpose registers are available with the microprocessor 8085. Since these are the registers and what is the use of that general purpose registers? These registers are used for storing the content or we are using that registers for storing the information which are processed in the microprocessor. So, the name itself indicate that general purpose register. General means koi we use kar sakta hai. Either it may be a programmer and it may be a uh, we are using for any information for storing any information we are using that register B, C, D, E, H and L. Kabhi bhi koi bhi time pe hum is registers ka use kar sakta hai. No any restrictions for that storing the content inside that register. That is why the name indicate that it having the general purpose register. So, the register is consist of an flip flop and since here we are already told here there are 6 8 bit general purpose register means nothing but each register is consist of 8 flip flop and you know that uh, flip flop will store 1 bit of information single flip flop can store one bit of information. So, naturally each register is consist of 8 flip flop means each register will store the 8 bit of information. Means in register B, register B is able to store the 8 bit of information. So, for storing the 8 bit of information we are using register B, C, D, E, H and L. Suppose we want to store the 16 bit of information. 
So in such case, whenever we want to store the 16 bit of information, in such case, we are using that general purpose register in pair form. Pair means this register B is used to store the 8 bit of information. If we are combining one another register with register B, which is having also the capacity to store 8 bit of information. So, by combining these two registers with each other, we are storing the 8 bit of information. But for storing the 8 bit of information, the pair which is chosen for microprocessor 8085 that pair are BC, DE and HL implicitly only. Not we are using the BD or CD or EH or uh, EL. Only the restrictions are given with the microprocessor 8085. For storing the 8 bit of information, we are using the register pair BC, DE and HL. Any 8 bit key information store करने के लिए हम B, C, D, E, H, L में से कोई भी register use कर सकते हैं. But अगर जब हमें 16 bit of information store करना है, in such case we are using the pair of the registers and that pair of the registers are named as register B, C, register pair B, C, register pair D and register pair H, L only. Getting? So, these are the general purpose registers are available with microprocessor 8085. And in block diagram, here it is given that the general purpose registers are register B, C, D, E, H and L. And in every block, there is one bracket and in that bracket write down the number 8. That 8 indicate the capacity to store the information in that register B. So, B having in bracket number is the 8 means it, it indicate that register B is stored the 8 bit of information likewise C, D, E, H and L. So, these are called as the general purpose register. Now, going to the another content of this lecture that content is the accumulator or use of accumulator. So, in block diagram, if you are observed, this is B, C, D and H, L. These are the general purpose registers and accumulators are here. This is also accumulator and again in accumulator in bracket write down here 8. Means it also indicate that accumulator is also storing the 8 bit of information. And again accumulator is also one of the register. So, this is also one of the register and it is also having the capacity store 8 bit of information. So, it is also one of the register which is also storing the 8 bit of information. So, accumulator is nothing but a 8 bit register. It is again consist of 8 flip flops. And since we are using the 8 flip flops, that is why 8 bit of data can be stored in the accumulator. Now, the question arises that general purpose register B, C, D, H and L also stored the 8 bit of information. Accumulator is also stored the 8 bit of information. Then why accumulator is separated from B, C, D, H, L? accumulator ko separate kyu rakha gaya hai general purpose register se. So, the reason is that accumulator having their own importance. Accumulator ka uska khud ka kuch importance hai. So, that is why it is away from that general purpose register. Now, we know what is the importance of accumulator. Accumulator is nothing but the register which is storing the 8 bit of information same like as your general purpose register, but this register is not included in the general purpose register because it is having their own importance. So, what is the importance of accumulator that we are studying now? So, in mathematical operation, microprocessor can perform arithmetic and logical operation, different type of operations are performed by the microprocessor. 
So, when microprocessor will perform the arithmetic operation, for performing the arithmetic operation we require the two numbers. Suppose I assume that I want the addition of these two numbers. Mujhe ye do numbers ka addition karna. Both are the 8 bit numbers. So, to perform this arithmetic operation, we require the two numbers and whenever you want to perform this arithmetic operation at that time always this first number is stored in the accumulator itself. Hamesha jab bhi hume arithmetic operation karna padega us time first number is always stored in the accumulator while second number is given directly along with the instruction or it is also placed in another general purpose register. So, while performing arithmetic operation the condition is that always first number is present in the accumulator. Hamesha hume first number ko accumulator mein rakhna padata hai. So, this is the one of the importance of accumulator that while performing any arithmetic operation we want first number always in the accumulator itself. And after the addition of this two 8 bit number with each other, whatever be the results are present, that result is also stored in the accumulator itself. Dono ka addition ho jane ke baad, jo bhi result rahega, that result is also stored in the accumulator itself. That's why this register is separated from general purpose, general purpose register. Getting? means general purpose register mein hum 8 bit ki information rakhte hai, but accumulator why it is separated from this general category because in accumulator whenever we are performing the arithmetic or logical operation by microprocessor in such case always we require the first number in the accumulator. So, and after the addition of this 2 8 bit number result is also stored in the accumulator itself. That is why it is having their own importance. Similarly, in the logical operation also. Suppose we are considering we want to perform the uh, ending operation of 2 8 bit number. Again consider that first 8 bit, no, uh, first 8 bit number is suppose we are assuming that 0 8 h while second 8 bit number is 0 6 h or we is do 8 bit number ka ending operation karna hai. You have already studied the logical gate that is AND, OR, XOR, NOR, likewise. So, for performing the ending operation, this is nothing but the logical operation. In such a case also, we require the 2 8 bit number and in that first number is always present in the accumulate. After performing arithmetic and logical operation, again whatever be the results are present, that is again stored in the accumulator itself. That is why this accumulator is away from your general purpose register. Getting? Next content of this lecture is the arithmetic and logical unit. And in block diagram of microprocessor 8085, here you are observing that Till we are covered the general purpose register B, C, D, E, H and L and another block that is the accumulate. Now going to the next block that is called as arithmetic logical unit and you are also that the name is arithmetic and logical unit means whatever be the operations we want to perform with the microprocessor related with the arithmetic and logical operation that all operation are process in that ALU. With all operations are process in that ALU. So, that is why this the name is given as arithmetic and logical unit. Jitne bhi additive, subtractive or arithmetic operations rehenge, logical operations rehenge, all that operations are performed in that arithmetic and logical unit. So, going what types of operations are performed by that ALU. So, 
In arithmetic and logical unit, we are performing some arithmetic operation the, that are categorized in different uh, type. So, first type is 8 bit addition with oblique without carry. Two 8 bit number ka agar aapko addition karna hai, it may be a with carry or without carry such type of arithmetic operation is performed in the ALU. Second arithmetic operation is 8 bit subtraction with oblique without borrow. 8 bit subtraction of two 8 bit numbers with and without borrow that type of operation is also performed in the ALU. Third operation is 8 bit comparison. Suppose two 8 bit numbers are given and we want to compare that these two numbers. So, for comparison purpose also we are using the arithmetic and logical unit. Fourth operation which perform in the arithmetic and logical unit that is the 8 bit increment oblique decrement. Suppose 8 bit number is given and you want to increment the content of that number. So, in such case we are using the, the we are using that ALU and through ALU we are increment that 8 bit number as well as decrement that 8 bit number. So, these four type of operation arithmetic operations are performed in the arithmetic and logical unit. Next is the logical operation. So, logical operation first operation is the 8 bit or in. If you want to or the two 8 bit numbers in such case we are using the logical operators. Second logical operation is the 8 bit ending. Third logical operation is 8 bit XORing and fourth logical operation is rotating 8 bit towards left right with oblique without carry. I think this operation you are not study in digital circuit. All the remaining three are you are already you know that oring, ending, XORing, but last that is the rotating 8 bit towards uh, left or right with or without cathode that is also one of the logical operation which is performed in the ALU. So, what is mean by rotating 8 bit towards left or right with or without carry? So, just we are taken one example. Suppose your 8 bit number I have considered that 0 at H. Ye humne ek number liya hai, 8 bit number that is 0 at H. This is in the form of hexadecimal. If you are converting into the binary form, it becomes 0 0 0 0 H then 0 uh, 1 0 0 H means isko agar aap binary representation mein likhte hai to aapko 8 different bits mil jayenge jo bhi 8 bit numbers aapko mile hai usko agar aapko left side mein rotate karna hai ya fir right side mein rotate karna hai so that rotating can be done by using the logical operation. So, all that type of operations are performed in the ALU. So, today we are discussed the some blocks of microprocessor 8085. In that block, first we are study about the general purpose resistors and that general purpose resistors are BC, DE, HL. These six general purpose resistors are available with the MUP. Whenever you want to store the 8 bit of information, we are using that resistors. And if you want to store the 16 bit of information, in such case, we are using the pair of the resistor. And that pair is named as resistor pair BC, resistor pair D, and resistor pair HL implicitly only. Not we are using the register pair DL or HE or BE or DC. So, whenever we want to use the 60, we want to store the 16 bit of information, we are using the register pair BC, DE, HL completely. Again, the next register is the accumulator. 
this accumulator is again having the capacity to store the 8 bit of information because in bracket here the number is assigned as the 8. Whenever the number is assigned as the 8, you are assumed that it will store the 8 bit of information. So, this accumulator is storing the 8 bit of information, but it is separated from the general purpose register because it is having their own importance. So, we have already discussed the importance of accumulator that since this accumulator block is also connected with the arithmetic and logical unit. So, this importance is also concerned with the arithmetic and logical operation. So, whenever we are performing the arithmetic and logical operation, in such case always the first number is also uh, is required in the accumulator and after performing the addition or subtraction of 2 8 bit number, whatever be the result are present, that result is also again stored in the accumulator itself. So, that is why it is having their special importance and it is away from that general purpose register. Next is the arithmetic and logical unit. In arithmetic and logical unit, we are covered the arithmetic operation and logical operation. All the operation related with the arithmetic and logical that can be performed in arithmetic and logical unit. The operations are 8 bit addition with or without carry, 8 bit subtraction with or without borrow, then 8 bit comparison and 8 bit increment and decrement. While logical operations are 8 bit oring, 8 bit ending, 8 bit XORing, and one more is rotating 8 bit number towards left or right with or without carry. So, with this today we are stop here. Again in next lecture we are covered the another topic of block diagram of microprocessor 8085. So, now have a nice day. Thank you.